What is this? Numbers in your pocket. I remember when you used to throw those things. So, hi, it's Black Power Bunny, aka G or G, aka Black Power Bunny. And I know I have been a little occupied so I haven't really uh, chimed in on the dating diary but we will do so today because we had a meet and greet it's been almost 30 days and this time around is different versus the last time around um, my search is for someone between 35 to 45 and yet those who seek me out are more along the lines of 48 to 52 nothing wrong with age I get that but I am finding that there are some 50 plus, some 40 plus, 45 plus that are more older and fatherly and not as lively as myself. I am a young 40. Trust and believe that. Like, I'm a young 40. So today we decided to take that role of being the person who uh, invites someone out and makes all the decisions, which there comes a point where honestly, you don't want to be that person who makes all the decisions, has to invite somebody out. You just, you just don't want to do that. But yet yeah, still I did it. So I went on this meet and greet, um, not excited about it, but I would already pulled the trigger. And as I'm pulling this trigger, I am noticing why I'm not excited about it. Um, was I surprised? No. Was I shocked just how boring it was? Yes. Yes, I was. It was boring. Bo -o -o ring. So we talked about, um, <laughs> dear God, his ex-wife and the kids and the problems during the marriage and what went wrong and you know, I don't know, I'm not a big movie person, but even I have seen movies in the last 48 months. Yes, I said that, 48 months. So yeah, um, <laughs> kind and uh, sweet, um, but very old. We're not gonna go down that road again. Uh, it obviously isn't gonna happen. And um, thank you to my friends who made the rescue phone call, which we all need. Uh, and thank you to a watch where I can like send a message and not be obvious that I'm sending a message. Love technology for that. And I know there's apps that can call you and that kind of thing, um, but it just worked really to have a real person on the phone to get me out of it. Cause I was like, wow, look at the time. It's <laughs> It's like really getting late so I need to kind of like go and I would yeah <sighs> the sigh the sigh okay so <sighs> I'm, I don't even know what to do next but I do know that we have made two more plans we're gonna see if Friday works out and we'll see if Saturday works out <sighs> I don't even know if I have the patience to deal but I've paid for three months, so I have to have the patience to do. Surely it has to get better, right? Like it's got to get better. It has to, it has to get better. If anything, I have something to laugh about because you just can't make up this stuff. You just cannot make up the foolishness that is like real life right now. And the more I think about it, the more um, enticing the idea of being a bunny farmer or goat farmer becomes. It's not really a bad idea right now. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna cut this one and uh, <laughs> I'm hoping to get some of my time back because I just wasted like an hour and a half. Although I think I knew it was gonna waste an hour. I didn't think it was gonna waste an hour and a half. I didn't think, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> oh my God. And I didn't even mention that he was short. 